Hey guys, Lego Lady here, and today I'm doing something a bit different, a bit out of schedule. I'm reviewing the Marvel Studios movie, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is directed by Scott Derrickson and stars Benedict Cumberbatch as the titular hero Doctor Strange. It also stars Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One and Chiba Twell Ijo Far as Baron Mordo. The movie follows the adventures of Doctor Stephen Strange, a talented but arrogant neurosurgeon who one day gets into a horrible car accident that leaves his hands immobilized. He tries to find a way to fix them, but when modern medicine fails, he goes to an alternate method, leading him to the Ancient One. The movie is based off the Marvel character of the same name, Doctor Strange, and is also set in the wider Marvel Cinematic Universe. It comes out on November 4th, 2016 in the USA, but as I live in Australia, I was able to see it a bit earlier. Now let's talk about the casting and acting in this movie. The casting and acting was just superb. Benedict Cumberbatch is the perfect translation of Doctor Strange from the comics, and all the acting in the movie was on point. I really enjoyed Benedict Cumberbatch's American accent. I didn't think it was going to sit well with me, but I liked it by the end. Also, Tilda Swinton did a really good ancient one performance, and I also liked Chiwetel Ejiofor's Baron Mordo performance. But I'd definitely say a real standout for me was Benedict Wong as Wong. He did a really funny and interesting performance, and I think it was really, really good. Now let's talk about the CGI and special effects in this movie. The CGI was really, really good. The magic effects were really, really awesome. I really don't think they can improve CGI any more than they did in this movie. Plus, the visuals in this movie were amazing, mind-blowing. I wouldn't really say that you should watch a movie just for the visuals, but I think that you definitely should for this movie. I loved the visuals, and they were just so cool to just see Doctor Strange just tumbling through different dimensions. Okay, now let's get into the nitty-gritty of the movie, the plot. Overall, the plot is really, really good. My favourite bit was probably at the start, just seeing Stephen Strange as a talented neurosurgeon. I found that really interesting. I also liked how over the whole movie, Stephen Strange became less of an arsehole into more of a gracious guy. I found that really cool. The second act was pretty good. I loved seeing him train. There was some great humour there. It was also cool to see with all the CGI. Now, the main villain in the movie, it's a bit weak. He does suffer a bit for a forgettable Marvel villain, but I did get where he was coming from, and overall he was pretty good. Now the third act of the movie, it also suffers a bit from a Marvel cliche of portal in the sky, but in the end it had a great ending that was really interesting to see, and I definitely wasn't expecting. So overall, the plot's really good, it's easy to follow, the villain's alright, but the character dynamics make up for it. Like, I really did enjoy the Stephen Strange and Mordo dynamic. That was really cool. Now, my overall opinions on Doctor Strange are really, really good. It has superb action, superb acting, and an easy-to-follow plot, but still an interesting one. Overall, I'll give the movie an A+. Okay, then, that's it for my review of Doctor Strange. Please comment, subscribe, and like below. And also, if you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm Lego Nan Comics on Twitter, Lego Nan Comics on Facebook, and Lego Nan Comics on Google+. There I post all about new stuff I'm doing, new videos that are coming out, and new podcasts that are coming out. This week's podcast, actually, this first day, is going to be, we're going to do a more in-depth review of Doctor Strange. We'll go into more detail than what I've outlined in this video. Also, there are two end credit scenes in the movie, one after the quick animated credits at one at the end. I can't tell you what they are here because that would be spoilers and this is a non-spoiler review, but they are well worth waiting for. Okay guys, they're going to let her out. Bye.